Welcome to episode 115. Taj gets to finally dive the wreck. It's just got insanely rocky. Like... And we sail to Lavina, Bali. Got his Mr. Fix It pants on today. Okay. And she measured it, and it's all going to be sweet. This week on Sailing Catalpa, we're in Ahmed, a coastal town on the island of Bali in Indonesia. So we just uh, had a catamaran pull up this afternoon to where we are and they came over when we were in the tender and it turns out it was somebody that's messaged me on Facebook. Um, they're American and they've asked us over for a drink. So we're going to go over and have, have a drink, have a chat. I think they've got a YouTube channel so we can, yeah, we'll put them on here and show you guys who they are and what they do. And this is Starry Horizons and the couple aboard are Amy and David and are currently circumnavigating the world. They also have a YouTube channel so be sure to go over and check them out. These guys are also keen divers so we headed off the next day to check out the wreck. When I wake up in the morning Drinking coffee on my balcony Bella's got a little friend, I'm just going to show you. This is a remora fish. We usually see them hitchhiking a ride on sharks or rays, but today it was me. We descended down and Taj was super stoked that today his ears were corroborating. You give me everything, I've got it all, oh, your light is shining, and I'm thankful every day, Lord I'm thankful for everything, from the cradle to the grave, you give me guys are green hump-headed parrotfish and are the largest of their kind. They can grow to lengths of 1.3 meters and weigh up to 46 kilograms. These fish are very important for the coral reefs ecosystem. Each of these fish consume up to five tons of reef carbonates per year and poop out sand and coral. So next time you're on the beach Remember the sand beneath your toes may have been pooped out by one of these guys. One part about diving wrecks is swimming through parts of a sunken ship that once was a window or a doorway. That afternoon, it started to get really rolly. Lee tried lots of things to stop it, like he tied a stern line, put out a stern anchor, but it wasn't much help. So our anchorage here at Ahmad has just got insanely rocky, like crazy rocky, and we haven't slept. And Lee's pulling anchor. <laughs> We didn't plan on 
we're going to Lavinia Beach. That's where we're going. This is one of those times you wish you had a catamaran. It's crazy and crazy uncomfortable. This is nothing. Last night the tow rail was in the water. to leave. You're too rocky mate. So yesterday we left um, Ahmed which was really sad because we really liked it there but it was super rolly uh, like the night before we or the night we left. We left early in the morning and um, yeah it was tow rail to tow rail so it was a bit crazy to stay but uh, yeah friends of paradise rocked up. Oh, like an hour after we left so that was a bit of a bummer because we kind of wanted to hang with them there but yeah we've arrived at Lavinia uh, we haven't been ashore yet Lee's just doing a few jobs this morning he got a, a new water pump um, for our tap which would be awesome because we had to have showers without yelling out to someone to turn the switch on so he's doing jobs this morning what are you doing Amazing. there? What do you got carrying around a, uh, a tap? All sorts of things falling off this boat. <laughs> He's got his Mr. Fix-It pants on today. It's been a little bit. A little while since you've done some fixing. It's every day, come on. Oh, come on. It's been a little while. And we're in Lavinia and uh, we're in smooth water. And he's fixing all the stuff. I'm going to go ashore, I've got no internet, so we'll go find internet and uh, have a look around. Lavina is located on the north coast of Bali. It's known for its black sand beaches and dolphins. I guess this is the reason for that dolphin statue right in the middle of town. two of uh, servicing on Catalpa. Uh, yesterday I installed a oil presser sender and uh, switch because both were faulty and weren't really working. Um, I just wanted to make sure that was working properly because we did actually overheat the motor a little bit. Uh, we had the impeller break and we had a anode come out of the heat exchange and block one of the hoses, uh, one of the uh, lines. Um, that let the water out to the exhaust um, so but that's not the big issue I've just noticed I checked the oil just prior to doing the service which I'm about to do today and I've noticed the oil levels like on about a quarter um, one day ago it was on full so we've motored for probably maybe two hours um, and Catalpa usually doesn't burn any oil in between a change it stays on the full mark the whole time so there's obviously an issue how big I don't know I'm about to have a little look and uh, fingers crossed it's not something too big okay well another service done and the oil was on full it wasn't on the quarter mark like the last change we've done a lot of motoring I, I don't know she hasn't burned a drop of oil so maybe when we heated it up a little bit it lost its viscosity and Come out, come out. Mystery. Who knows? It's all good anyway. Woo! Bella's getting her hair braided. Ever since we came to Indonesia, she wanted her hair plaited. So we're in Bali now. So she's getting it done.
So we got invited to come over and do yoga this morning on Starry Horizons. So uh, the boys are out, but Villa and I are in. So we're gonna head over and do some yoga on the deck on a really nice big catamaran. <laughs> to pick up some uh, cushion covers. Sarah got them made up yesterday. She said they were this long from that point of her arm to a mole on her arm. So, I don't know, there's no tape measure involved. I, what I, was the measurement again? I Sorry, sweetheart, I missed it. So, from the tip of my pinky finger to this little mole. Okay. And she measured it and it's all gonna be sweet. There's no tape measure needed here, it's all good. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's go get these bad boys. <laughs> we'll see who's right. Mama, how do you feel? Guess what? The pillows, the cases were perfect. Oh, fits like the best ever. So how do you feel, Dada? I just feel grateful that I've got an intelligent woman that can measure pillows with her arms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lucky man. <laughs> Don't question me next time. We know what we're doing, us ladies. She's even utilising one of the old pillows we're about to throw out. We're going to throw this in the bin, but I'm making the pillow more fluffy with the inside, so... I can't even open these ones to get them off. They're mouldy and the zipper's all seized up. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for having me. It's cool someone wants to talk to me and <laughs> hear our story, so that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man, for sure. I, you know, I, I've been checking you guys out on Instagram. This is, you know, kind of what I do is I just find people who are doing rad things and you know get them on to, to share. So you guys are definitely uh, doing rad things. So this was me talking to Josh from the Ocean Life podcast. I'll put a link down below if you want to have a listen. Okay. <laughs> you use that to go fishing? Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen one before? Yeah. No, this no. first time. Yeah, okay. Do like this one, yeah, in the water. Yeah, yeah. and put your put your bait inside. Yeah. Chicken. Ayam. 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 Oh, ayam. Oh, oh this oh. one. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you. We hope you catch something in it. Today we are heading ashore to meet with some friends in Legian. David's kindly dropping us in so that we can leave our tender on the back of Catalpa while we go and uh, have some land time. Kids are excited about staying in a hotel. It's very different. Thanks David. Big time guys. Our bags are packed, we found some transport to drive to Legian, which is about a two and a half hour drive. Because it's a bit of a drive, we had a few stops along the way. Bella, are you it's so excited? Yeah. Love's unknown in the city heart. I was told by no. So on our way to Legian today or in Takuda, uh, we're gonna see some stuff, so first stops at waterfall. So excited. Love waterfalls. Love's unknown in the city's heart. Heard a shadow saying so. I gave him by the shore If you can So you guys know what to do Give a thumbs up, subscribe Maybe leave a comment if you want to And if you want to see where we are in real time You can go follow us on Instagram At Facebook at Sailing Catalpa Thanks for watching, bye These videos are made possible By our patrons Thank you all so very much oh, Thanks to y'all Up next on Sailing Catalpa, we see some pretty places here in Bali and sleep in a bed that doesn't rock or roll for the first time in over a year. We'll see you next time.